Hi, welcome to this episode of Mindscape Television. My name is Jeff Bell. I'm Director of Digital Marketing Services here at Mindscape. And with me, I have Jim Buchanan. Jim is a Digital Marketing Specialist with us. And we're going to be talking about the basics of setting up uh, an AdWords campaign today. But before that, kind of in the news lately has been uh, a change to AdWords that Google has implemented regarding mobile targeting and that type of stuff. And essentially, prior to today, Google's recommendation if you were going to have mobile campaigns was um, to set up a separate campaign, right, Jim, right. for for mobile uh, traffic, so that you could have different landing page URLs and that type of stuff that were specific to a, a mobile experience. So Jim, kind of how has that changed now with uh, this change Google is rolling out? Um, Google is calling this uh, enhanced pay-per-click campaigns now. Um, and as usual, any move by Google kind of uh, starts off a firestorm of professionals saying it's either really good or really bad. And uh, I know it's going to make it easier for, it's a, it reduces the, the barriers of entry to pay-per-click for people who have not participated before. Um, now you can set up one campaign and have it go across all devices. Right, and in the past, Google kind of recommended against that, and that was simply because, you know, the, a website may or may not be mobile optimized, right? So it, on a mobile device, you don't necessarily want to be paying for traffic and sending them to your site when it's not optimized for mobile experience. It does affect people differently um, and we're going to kind of keep an open mind here uh, about the benefits of it. Right. So. so if I'm a company and I just want people to know that my doors are open up the road, um, not necessarily pay-per-click candidate? It depends. It's, there's, you can use it as an awareness building campaign, which would be different than actually selling products. Okay. You definitely can serve a purpose for, for whatever goals and objectives you, you have. Mm -hmm. And if I did have a pay-per-click campaign and it was awareness building, would I send them, I mean, would you recommend sending them to the homepage or? Well, again, that would depend on what, what you are trying to accomplish. If it's a part of your business that lives on part of your website, we would want to send them there. Okay. Um, but if you're talking about nobody knows who you are and you want to build some brand awareness, then maybe the home page is your best option. But general rule of thumb would be target your ad to a, a page on your website that's specific to the ad that they clicked on. Okay, good. Okay, um, and we'll talk about keywords a little bit in here, but that's also very important to have a good keyword strategy. And the keywords are just the phrases that people type into the search engine and will trigger your ad. So uh, you, you need to do some thinking about that. Uh, we use the Google keyword tool for to, um, to determine kind of a, a ballpark idea of cost per click and also search volume. Okay, so good. So uh, when we start setting this up, the first thing we're going to be asked to do is set your zone country or territory, which is the United States. Uh, and then you can select your time zone, we're in the eastern zone. And a currency for your account. Um, and we use US dollars and that's what we recommend everybody use, even if you're doing business um, overseas. So we set, we set those three things and go continue. Okay, now once you create it, create your account, then you need to sign in. Okay, and uh, once we're in AdWords, then you can click on this button here to create your first campaign. Um, this will ask you what type or what search networks you want to uh, be found on. The default is search and display networks. Um, our recommendation is typically search network only, especially for beginners. Um, the reason is the display network, you have a little bit less control over where your ad's going to show up. Now what is the display network? Where, where would a person typically see ads on the, dis on a dis on the display network? Uh, it can be on any number, it's just millions of different sites and the quality of those sites also varies drastically. So, so this is like where I would, like this is the opposite side of AdSense then? Right. So I can, yes. if I've got my blog and I want to try to monetize that a little bit, I can subscribe to AdSense, 
allow Google to show ads on my, but that's the display network. Thing. Right. So we use search network only. Um, and we also um, recommend to enable all features. You don't have to use them all, but we recommend enabling. Uh, there's another little thing down here <coughs> under networks. We want, we've already said that we want to use the Google search network. Now we do not, uh, re re we recommend not including the search partners. And again, it's, uh, we just have found a lot of low quality sites on there and uh, we don't get good click through rates or conversions through when we use that. So okay. just using the Google search is when people search in Google. All right. Um, this is another part of, right now we can choose the different devices and, and tablets. Um, with the enhanced campaigns, I don't, we will not have this choice. And at this point, we would recommend building a separate campaign for a mobile or tablet um, campaign separate from the desktop or the right. laptop. Um, and it's to be determined kind of how to handle that moving forward. Right. Okay. Right. Locations. Uh, this is important. Uh, if you are geographically locked, like you only serve a certain uh, section or area, if you're 20 miles outside of your radius, you can target all of that. Um, or you can target you can target everywhere in the world. You can target United States and Canada, United States, or you can choose. And uh, when you choose, you can also choose to exclude. Um, you can do country, city, region, state. You can use zip codes. So there really is some good, uh, good targeting features here. So if I'm uh, Johnny's Lawn Care Service and I'm just mowing lawns in the kind of greater Grand Rapids area, I'm going to want to lock that down to Grand Rapids so my ad doesn't show up in San Francisco somewhere, right? right. Yep. Okay. You're going to want to go whatever your radius is. You can use a radius. Okay. So. All right. And language, obviously, we want to use English. Bidding and budget, that's another strategy that you are going to have to put in place as the advertiser. Um, what do you want to spend a month? We usually talk about monthly budget, and then you'll see here it gets broken down per day. Okay. Um, and it's really hard for us to determine a budget, especially on a new AdWords account, because we have no idea how that is going to function, for, um, how, how productive it's going to be. So when you're just starting out, maybe $10, 20 30 $50 a day. Ad extensions, we won't go into that very deeply right now. That's a little bit... Uh, a little bit more advanced. You can schedule your ads when they start, when they end. Um, we typically just start them and end uh, several years later because we don't want to have to go back and forth mm -hmm. and start. Um, you can schedule your ads. Currently, the default is to show ads all days and hours. Uh, you can run them between certain hours. You can run them one hour a day. You can schedule that any way you want. Okay. Ad delivery and rotation. There are um, several different several different ways that you can set how your ads will show. Um, we like to choose rotate evenly. This way, we can test our own ads. Google. If you talk to Google when you set up an ad, they will tell you to, to optimize for conversions. Show ads that are expected to, to convert the most visitors. Um, we like to test our ads, so we will use an ad that's converting well and test against that, but we'll create three or four copies of that one ad that's doing well. So that is running 80% of the time while we're testing the other ad, and if the other ad's more successful, that becomes that test ad that we're running 80% of the okay. time. Okay. Um, your keyword matching options. This is another thing that Google has implemented in the past year to include plurals, misspelling, and other close variants. So if you choose a keyword of shoes or shoe, they will automatically include shoes or S-H-E-O. Right, misspelling of right. shoes, okay. Right. Typically we don't, because we create pretty good keyword focused uh, ad groups and ads, we don't like to include that. Okay. Then we're gonna save and continue. And here's where you start. Um, 
creating an ad group. We've created a campaign. You can have several ad groups within a campaign. You should be focused on what segment of, like some people only have one campaign, some people have 50 campaigns. It's just on what their products are, what they want to raise awareness of. Okay, so briefly, the concept of an ad group, can you kind of talk about that? Well, uh, using the motorcycle analogy, if you're selling motorcycle parts, you will might want to have a campaign called motorcycle parts and then an ad group for Honda motorcycle parts. Okay. Uh, an ad group for Yamaha, and you can even break those down by having tightly themed ad groups going to a certain um, landing page. We're going to get better information. All right. We're so we're going to have information. with fewer clicks or you know that type of stuff. We're going to get better information on a percentage, you know, as far as what's converting, what's not. Um, and then our ad groups can be scheduled individually right. and targeted individually, right? Okay. Yes. And creating an ad, your headline is 20, you need to, 25 characters is all you can use in the headline and definitely try to use your keywords or uh, your main keyword. Um, the first line description, you can use 35 characters. Second line description also is 35 characters. Uh, the display URL is also 35 characters. You can add a keyword here as an extension because this is not the actual URL that the ad is pointing to. The actual URL the ad will point to is the destination URL. So the destination URL is the actual page on my site I'm driving them to, but the display URL is what people see in like the blue link right. beneath the ad, right? Okay. Then uh, keywords, we talked about that a little bit. Um, definitely need a strong keyword strategy. Um, when we talk about creating ad groups, we, we talk about eight to 10 ad group, or keywords per ad group. Uh, we wanna keep that as tightly focused as we can. And then uh, the next thing and the most important thing for Google is your billing. Option. You can bill ahead, you can set up a credit card that will just take payments every so many dollars or so much amount of time. Uh, another thing is um, when you set up a campaign it's really important to have conversions set up. So if you're looking for awareness, maybe you want them to download uh, information about your site or to sign up for a newsletter or something and you can put, there's a conversion code here in the conversions that you will put on the your thank you page. Okay. Once people sign up, what page they go to, that's where the code right. goes. Great. And it's important to know also when you set these up, there's a tool in here to an ad preview tool, right? Don't expect to go to Google, search for something using the keywords that you put in and, and see your ad show up. Um, you know, that's important to know too. You can certainly test it in the in the ad preview tool. Right, and we see that all the time where people will start yeah. to search for their ads and you know, and they can, they can burn up a lot of right. impressions that right. way. If you want to test your ads and you want to make sure they're running, um, if you go into tools and analysis, the ad preview and diagnosis, this will tell you, you can put, a, put one of your keywords in here, hit preview and it will show you if your ad is showing and if it's not, it will give you a general description of why it isn't. All right, well, thanks, Jim, for showing us the basics of kind of setting up an AdWords campaign. For viewers out there, please, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those on uh, our, our YouTube channel at uh, Mindscape HMTV. Um, subscribe to our channel or join us socially at Facebook or Twitter at Mindscape HM. Or join us at our website at www.mindscape-hm.com. And uh, we appreciate your time today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.